What's up, party people? It's a beautiful day after Thanksgiving. Is this Indigenous People's Day? I want to tell you guys a story today. <laughs> it's really funny. It involves two people who still live in Slab City, so I'm not going to name their names. But one of them, I'm 99% sure he wouldn't mind if I used his name in this video. The other guy, I'm 99.9% .9 sure he wouldn't be mind me dropping his name but I never asked either one of these guys so they're going to be nameless for this story I find this hilarious Let's see what you guys think of this <laughs> so this took place I was thinking back I guess I'm going to call this in 2014 in Slab City I live in the back corner of Slab City, some people refer to it as Drop 8, Sidewinder Road. Sidewinder Dead Ends at Camp Asshole. I lived right in front of that camp. And back in the day, at the top of the road, were these two guys that lived across the street from each other that minded their own business, right? I, rare, I didn't even really know them. I knew what they looked like have too many conversations then after a while um, this guy I know moves in right behind one of the guys and shortly after his friend these guys are buddies he moves in across the road kind of diagonal from the other guy so I got a couple new neighbors I know them both we're all friendly you know we smoke weed shit chat we're still friends to this day One morning, <laughs> one of them came into my camp and said, Hey, Jack, I got a mannequin. I asked, Pretty cool, man. He goes, Dude, you should see what I've done with it. So, what he had was one of those old um, 70s mannequins that had a face. You know, it wasn't one of those modern ones that had no face at all on it. And it was kind of adjustable to somewhat. The arms moved up and down for sure on it. And what he had done was put it in a pair of camo pants, a t-shirt, raised the arm up and taped a plastic toy gun to its hand. And then put a headlamp on it and put it kind of in a creosote bush, but kind of not in the creosote bush. Kind of like you're standing kind of in it a little bit. He said it was to deter people, which I thought was a great idea, from sneaking in his camp at night, right? Somebody cr trying to creep into your camp, see a guy stand there with a headlamp on, pointing a gun, you're going to leave. Oh, by the way, the headlamp was on the red light, not the white light. So it had this red light beam, just so you'd know there's something there. And if you focused on it, you'd see somebody stand there holding the gun at night. That was a great idea, right? He shows this to me in the morning when I'm having my coffee. I go on about my day. <laughs> go to bed. The next morning, I'm up having my coffee. And my other neighbor, the guy that lives across the street from him diagonally, comes into my camp. <laughs> it says, Jack, you're not going to believe this. I go, what? Now, so, this guy, he had been out doing what he does, you know. So he'd been gone for a few days. He had been up for a few days. He was coming home to go to sleep, rest, and relax for a few days. He comes up out of the berm, he says. Comes up out of the wash, out of the berm. He's cutting in through this blank space between the two camps to get across the road to his camp. And he looks over and he sees a guy pointing a gun at him. So he jumps into the creosote bushes and lays on his flat on his belly. He says, man, that dude was staring. 
at me. I was staring at him, and neither one of us were moving. I laid there for hours until the sun came up, and I seen it was a mannequin. <laughs> uh, he said he was laying on the ground flat trying to become part of the ground. This dude wasn't budging, so he said, well, if he's not going to move, I'm not going to move. Isn't that great? One guy tells me, hey, look at this mannequin. The other guy tells me, hey, man, I stared at this mannequin for three hours in the early morning thinking it was a real dude standing there holding a the gun. All right, party people. There's a silly Slab City story for you. As always, stay hydrated. Peace and love. From Slab City. My camp. The Cat Ranch. Ah, I got some lazy dogs here. Can you see them? Am I getting them in the picture? Lazy dogs in the background. All right, party people. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.